those are stone chips the paint is chipped that's bare metal right there and the reason why this is um, prone to rust is well it can what is going on today guys my name is alex welcome back to the channel today we are going to be talking about rust gross and we're going to be talking about rust on my brand new 2022 ram 2500 power wagon and yes there is rust on it after owning it only three months now we're also going to be talking about potential rust spots on these dodge rams um, the fourth gen trucks are so similar to these fifth gen trucks and i had a fourth gen uh ram 1500 so 2017 and i can show you exactly the rust spots to watch out for, especially if you live in Canada or in Northern United States in the uh, the so-called salt belt, because Lord knows they put too much fricking salt down on these roads and it causes these trucks to just rust away prematurely. So um, that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. And uh, I think there is going to be some valuable information for anyone trying to prevent rust on their Dodge Ram pickup truck. So first and foremost, let's get down under the truck here and show you guys the result of this winter. Now keep in mind, I've had this truck not even four months and this truck was oil sprayed. It was crown sprayed a week after I bought it in December. So uh, here we go. I'll show you the, what's going on. Got a little bit of rust on the knuckle here. Nothing really to worry about. That's expected. Um, got some rust starting up here on the axle. Again, the front knuckle's got rust on it. It is what it is. Um, these things just happen. The front axle actually looks pretty good. Um, not too much rust developing there. Now you can start to see, however, on the Articulink suspension here, the lower control arms, um, you can see rust is starting to build here build all up in there and then up here starting to really get in there um, obviously right at the bottom of the front diff you know it's to be expected when you're running into snow banks like I am it's going to take the paint off and when there's as much salt on the road it's just going to start to rust um, same thing on this side you can see the bottom of the axe starting to get some spot rust on it but uh, it is what it is um, skid plates are all looking good all looks good up here um, this will definitely start to rust but not right now now we get to the rear axle. This is where things kind of get uh, a little a little tough. You can see the paint is starting to flake off here and rust is really starting to set in as well up here. Um, same thing goes for this side. Rust starting to set in all up in here, rust. Um, once again, the bottom of the diff here to be expected just because when you're running into snow banks and dirt and mud, you're gonna scrape the paint right off. Now coming to the back side, we got a little bit of rust starting up here, um, but all in all, not too, too bad for um, surviving its first winter up here in uh, Ontario, Canada. So the undercarriage of the truck is starting to rust. It's just what happens to vehicles up here. There's nothing you can really do about it. The only thing you can really do about it is not to drive it in the winter. And I just feel like that would almost be a crime because this truck is so good on the roads, in the snow, it's heavy. So to not drive it in the winter just seems a little crazy to me. Let's get into possible rust problems here with these fifth gen trucks and fourth gen. Like I said, they are so similar. First and foremost is right in the front here. It is the painted bumper. Now this is a little crazy um, because you know, I'll take some good pictures of this and put it up on the screen, but there's a chip there, there's a chip there, 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 chip there. Once again, this truck is not even four months old and there's chips in the paint on this bumper. This will rust and it's just unfortunate. I know <laughs> I used to own a, a 96 Chev when I was younger and uh, it had the original chrome bumper on it not a speck of rust. So if you have a painted bumper, watch out for that. Personally, I'm not too, too worried because I know for a fact this bumper probably won't stay on this truck 
for too much longer. And while we're still on top of the pit here, let's point out this potential rust issue right here. Now this one um, bugs me, but not as much as what I'm going to show you down below. That actually freaking pisses me off. Fourth gen trucks, as well as fifth gen, have these like rubber runners and I'm not really sure what they're for. I imagine they're for some kind of aerodynamics, um, potentially, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're for, but what I see what happens, especially if you guys get your truck oil sprayed, this rubber can expand and it will start to rub into the paint of the cab, eventually rubbing it to bare metal and rusting. And that is exactly what happened with my 2017 Ram 1500. I caught it too late and the cab was already starting to rust, which is just unfortunate. The solution is just to take a sharp razor blade and just cut this, cut it back a little bit and you'll never have that problem. And it is rubbing the cab. Three months old, rubbing my paint right there. Um, that is a rust problem waiting to happen. Now, what actually pisses me off is what I'm about to show you. So let me take you to kind of the back of the truck here. We are going to look at, once again, a rubber piece between the cab and the box, except it's going to be, um, I guess, horizontal instead of up and down. So right here we have the cab, and then this is the box right here. Now, if you guys can see, this is that rubber piece. And what freaking actually makes me upset right now is look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll take some good pictures. But this rubber piece has rubbed this cab paint to bare metal. That is bare metal right there. All the way across. That actually upsets me. This truck is so brand new. There's no reason for that to happen. So I will be taking this truck back to the dealer uh, and talking to them about that because that's unacceptable. Now I should have known I should have literally taken that rubber piece off the day I bought that truck, but I figured I had time. My 2017 Ram 1500 was rusting like crazy right there, um, you know, right at the bottom of the cab there. And unless you get under your truck and inspect it, you'll never see it until it's too late. A fourth gen, fifth gen Ram, any kind, 2500, 3500, 1500, it will have that rubber piece that goes horizontally between the cab and the box. It's just held in by plastic clips. Rip that thing out because it is just gonna cause rust on these trucks. Now, another area that uh, these Ram trucks will start to rust um, is the cab corners on the inside. So let me show you. So let's get under here. Now you can see this is the underside of your rocker here. And then if we follow that, this right here is your cab corner. Now, right there, those are stone chips, the paint is chipped, that's bare metal right there. And the reason why this is um, prone to rust is, well, if you look, your tire is right there and it's gonna fling mud and crap all the way up and this thing kind of flares out like that and it's just basically gonna rebound all those stones. It's gonna kind of act like a backboard for stones and all that fun stuff. So this is going to um, get stone chipped and rust pretty quickly. Also on the rocker here, we have these little pieces that kind of stick out. Again, prone to rocks and road debris. That's a chip there, that's bare metal. Um, now, if we come to the other side, it is much of the same. Once again, we see the um, cab corner here. A couple chips, not as bad, but uh, you know, in a couple years, this will be rusted to hell if I don't do anything about it. Once again, this little piece that sticks out, there's a good chip right there. That is bare metal right there, folks. Now, the best thing you can do to keep your cab corners in good shape is to put adequate mud flaps on. Now, I put these on beginning of the winter when I bought the truck, and I thought they would be good. However, they are just not low enough because at higher speeds, those rocks are gonna be flung and hit that still. So I just need to get lower mud flaps and that will solve that problem. Um, we'll put a bunch of grease and oil along here and hopefully that will uh, prevent anything from rusting in the future. Now, as we come to the back of the truck here, very similar to the cab corner, um, you know, we got your rear wheel here and as it flings stuff up, you're gonna hit, you know, the inside of your box here, your bumper, it's gonna get stone chipped and it's gonna start to rust on the inside here. And you're not gonna notice it unless you get underneath the truck 
or when it starts to penetrate through. So the best thing, once again, get yourself a good set of mud flaps and it'll stop all the crap from getting up here. In the winter time, if you live in snowy areas, what's also gonna happen is you're gonna get a lot of that um, slush and salt and crap, and it's gonna be all stuck up in here and just slowly melting and rotting the inside of your bumper away. So a mud flap will stop all of that. My last recommendation for um, you know, your Ram truck guys, take your spare tire down. What tends to happen, once again, kind of like your bumper, is a lot of the road grime, slush, salt, crap, it'll literally sit on top of your tire and it'll rot the underside of your box. And uh, it's just not a good thing. So the best thing you can do is just take the tire down, put it in your bed. This way, the underside of your box can breathe um, and there's lots of airflow and can dry out the underside of your box hopefully eliminating any chance of rust developing. There you go, guys. That's how my truck looks after its first winter. You know, there are some areas that I'm not too happy about, especially that rubber piece that goes between the cab and the box. I just think that is ridiculous. As far as the bumper goes, it is what it is. I don't really plan on having that bumper on there forever, so whatever. Now, as far as, you know, potentially the cab corners getting chipped up, I will take responsibility for that. I should have put longer mud flaps down and I don't think it'll be too big of a problem if I just, you know, put a bunch of grease down there, some good oil, and uh, it should prevent any further rusting. Hopefully you found a couple of those tips helpful um, for preventing rust on your Ram truck. I'm quite passionate about rust. I hate it, I hate it a lot. And uh, I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of advice from um, you know my experience owning a uh, at a Ram 1500 as well as owning this new uh, Ram 2500. But uh, anyways, if you did like the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you guys on board. Anyways, enough of me. We'll see you in the next freaking video.